Although the indigenous populations from Andes, Amazonia, Patagonia, and Chaco region are quite diverse, do you know that they actually come from one single group of migrants who reached South America 14,000 years ago? Well, it is true that these populations originate from one single group of migrants having a very small gene pool. But when these people entered South America, they got immediately isolated into these regions of Andes, Patagonia, Amazon, and Chaco. And each region had their own set of environmental challenges, which gave rise to the multitude of adaptations which we see in these populations. As the early migrants uh, split and settled across these really diverse regions, these regions served as a very strong geographic barriers isolating these groups. And these isolation played a very significant role in shaping their genetic makeup and therefore the entire genetic diversity present in South America. For example, in the Andes, very high altitude along with very low oxygen makes breathing challenging. These populations have adapted the makeup of a circulatory system and blood vessels so that oxygen could be more efficiently transported across all our bodies helping them to survive. These populations are unique and genetically diverse and also understudied. However, they are also at the brink of extinction. And although these sort of populations comprise only 5% of the total humans on Earth, they effectively manage about 80% of Earth's remaining biodiverse lands. If we lose them, we are not only losing a crucial piece of the genetic puzzle, we would also lose the precious indigenous knowledge which they possess to effectively manage these important biodiverse lands, especially considering the current scenario of climate change. Our project is called Genome Asia 100K. This is a large scale uh, population genome project, which have included a large number of collaborators across 13 countries, over 30 institutes. Since we have this vast diversity in our data set, we could ask research questions how those diverse environments can impact on our genome evolution and how it influences to create our genetic diversity, especially for those indigenous populations. These people have adapted in particular environments and their lifestyle in their own way, which can be very different from our current urbanized environment. That's why we really need to understand their history and their genomic evolution. 